I'm Ellie Grandy, and I'm, I'm with my first selection. We're here at City Hall. I'm with Marie McKenna, um, City Clerk Marie McKenna. Wow, what's been going on today? Well, it's been uh, an extremely busy day, and as I shared with you earlier in private, it's a first for me too. This is my first presidential election, so um, it's it's been extremely, extremely busy, which is great. That means that uh, we've had a great voter turnout. Um, we've had a lot of requests for the numbers, and we've been too busy to count them or to call around and, and get those tallies, but we're working on that right now. So um, I think that we've had a great turnout from the students in particular, so that's always a good thing. Yeah, you said students. We're in a kind of a special city, you know, we're in a college town so how do you um, you know get those students out there to vote well I have to say that um, I've got to give credit to other outside groups for registering students to vote I serve as a resource but we're a little bit constrained in terms of personnel here and I, but I'm happy to be a resource but um, you vote on campus um, campus Dems Republicans tons of different groups uh, from outside and from within the campus have done voter drives um, the RHAs and the dorms so our job here again is to to, um, to serve as a resource, but then we process all those registrations and try to do so in a timely fashion to make sure everybody's uh, good to go nice. on election day. So how have um, turnout been compared to maybe 2008 elections? You know, being a newbie, um, it's really hard for me to say right at this time, and that's a great question. Um, it was predicted that it would be slightly less than 2008, but based on, uh, I'm just going to use one indicator, we uh, mail out app, um, absentee voter ballots, we've exceeded what we did in 2008. So I believe that that's an indicator that this is going to be a really, really um, well attended, well, uh, high participation in this election. So so how does City um, city Hall um, have to do with the rest of the election? What's, what's in store for the night? Oh, it's um, going to be a long night. I can tell you that right now. Um, we're going through the process of um, answering lots of different phone calls, different questions, concerns, issues, complaints, quite frankly. It's all part of the, the deal. But um, the fun really begins at 8 o'clock when uh, the polls start to close. I will say everybody in line at 8 o'clock is entitled to vote. So make sure that even if the lines are wrapped around the building, you get to vote if you're there at 8. But then the, um, the poll workers start balancing um, the number of ballots against the number of voters, uh, doing all the closing stuff, and then they come back here to be what's called received. So basically we have to go all through all their paperwork to make sure that everything's, um, all the I's have been dotted and the T's crossed, mm -hmm. and then we ship our paperwork to Clinton and Ingham County for an additional canvas. So it's a lot more, um, you don't just close the polls, there's a lot of follow-up afterward, and we anticipate a late night. Right. But we're up for it. All right, <laughs> yeah. well, we love that you're working hard yeah, for us, thank and you. Thank, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Back to you guys at my first election.